Okay, this is the first time I'll be driving a pure electric vehicle. I'm no expert in cars, but um, this will be my personal review of this uh, vehicle. It's called the uh, Polestar 2 and it's, this is the uh, top of the range uh, model they've got. Um, I think it costs about £65,000. This vehicle's got um, a dual motor. So um, it's basically a four wheel drive system. And um, from what I was told, it's got 475 brake horsepower and 700 or just less than 700 uh, Newton meters of torque. So let's see how the car will, will, um, will do. I'm quite excited actually because um, it's the first time I'll be driving a pure electric car. Oh, um, I almost forgot. <clears throat> it's got the uh, Brembo brakes on this one. And um, look at this wiper as well, it's fairly different. The water is on the actual wiper itself. So it feels a little bit strange. But um, the interior on, look at this um, gold colored seat belt. It's really unique. Also the, um, the dashboard and the plastic, these are premium quality. Much better than what you would normally get in, in a car. So yeah, and double uh, look, you can change a lot of, um, about the car. At the moment, the steering feel is on set on light. Let's see how firm it is. And let's put it in sport mode and see how it will do. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing in the petrol station. <laughs> I'm literally just um, stopped over to um, set up my GoPro. As I said, it's a pure electric vehicle, okay, so don't get this confused. To be honest, everyone's looking at me why I'm stopping over inside petrol station or at a uh, forecourt. Right now, I'm just on the A3. Oh my days, look at that. Feel that. I wish you can. Instant power from a pure electric car. And um, people are saying, oh, some people are not ready for an electric motor anyway but, um, to be honest if I have a car like this I don't think um, I'll be missing the petrol engine cars at all except for a motorbike that's another thing um, I also do like uh, motorbikes, so I don't think I'm ready to change into an, an all-electric motorbike yet. But um, with the vehicle, see how quiet that the cabin feels. I'm doing about uh, just under 50 miles. Let's set up the. Um, impression actually 
actually this car reminds me of um, what driving like a, a Golf GTI feels like the um, suspension because this is the sports um,
but I've done 35 minutes of driving already. Um, I'm down to 79%. I've got the heating on. Heated seats? No, not yet. I will try that in a bit. What else? I mean, you can schedule this because of the um, current high energy prices. It's always best to charge at night. So um, if you do got a plug-in charging um, facility at home, then you can program the, the car to start charging, say, from midnight until um, 6 a.m. in the morning. Let's see what else. Okay, car status. So it gives you information about the car. There's no, no issues there. Oh, service. Look at this one. Next service is 672 days. That's a long, obviously, because it doesn't have the uh, mechanical engine, it's got less moving parts, so less to maintain. So in, in, in the long term, it will save you money. I think their range starts from about 40,000 pounds, but um, this one's got that additional package. Um, so I think it brings the, the, the price top spec to 67,000 um, pounds it comes with Napa leather heated Let's see what else is available so the next service on this vehicle is 17,743 miles that's a lot that's a lot of money you'll save you can adjust the interior lights I, I think you can change the, the color the exterior, the mirror, the wipers you can power off the car it's got a um, look at that, 300, I'm not sure if you can see that on on the GoPro it's got a 360 degree camera as well so for, for those of us like uh, my sister um, who lacks a little bit of confidence when it comes to parking 360 degree camera that will help you when it comes to uh, parking the car and avoiding hitting anything um, so it's got all the gadgets you know, you'll need it's got bluetooth it's got the charging for for the phone just leave your phone there it keeps it charged it's got heated steering wheel and and the brakes it's got Brembo brakes so what else can I say as I said this is just my first try and and um, doing a car review. I love driving cars. Um, today's my day off and sad. You can call me sad but um, it's, it's nice to be able to try cars because I love, I'm a petrol head basically but um, after this I'm, I'm gonna be called an electric head. So <laughs> I do hope um, you enjoyed this video. It took some time and effort and also confidence. I don't really like um, recording myself and talking. Um, I prefer just um, doing walk walk around um, cars most of the time. But um, I thought, what am I got to lose? Let me just give it a go. And people likes it. Hopefully they'll they'll like, they subscribe, they comment, and uh, we can get more um, subscribers. This is the first time I've actually talked um, quite a bit on on any of my YouTube uh, videos. So if you've got any comment, if you tell me to, to um, just give up. Maybe not. <laughs> I just love um, driving different types of cars. 
as you'll see on my um, YouTube videos, I've driven a Porsche Cayenne, um, a Range Rover vehicle, and um, hopefully I'll be able to drive um, other cars when, when I get the time to do it. Follow the map using the display on the dash, so it's quite easy to use actually. Just approaching um, central London, and this is what it's like on a Thursday morning at um, almost midday. Slow moving traffic. So it's always it's nice to have an automatic. Um, I don't even know whether it's going to be a gearbox or anything, but it's automatic anyway. Driving, I'm just gonna give a shout out to my cousins who also love um, cars um, Josh and Jojo La Morena. There you go. Hello, Josh, and hello, Jojo. I know you were hoping I would um, test drive a 911, but this is the closest thing. <laughs> Then again, for sixty-five thousand pounds, sixty-seven thousand pounds, you can get an older um, model of nine elevens. That's the um, 360 degrees camera you can see all around you. Really cool. Because it's got the uh, stiffer, stiffer suspension, we'll just try it out on little. London side roads and test drive is coming to an end. We are heading back to Polestar. I hate to return this car. <laughs> stuff I found while stuck in traffic is that you can have a cold setting on your ass basically by pressing that button. I've accidentally pressed that and um, I felt something very very cold just on the lower back. And um, that's what it is. 
it's quite handy when it's um, in the summer. getting cold so let me cancel that quickly that should be it oh one thing this um, car has a Harman Kardon so listen to that That would come in really handy to people who love their music. station to Polestar Garage. It will be the second of this one. Is it this one? No. Let's go further down. Is that road is closed. ANPR cameras here. So what happens is they're not gonna allow entry to the car park unless you're a resident. getting too hot. So we might as well go around 